Welcome to the fifth installment of my extreme New Year decluttering series. Today we are tackling both my dresser and Jose's dresser inside and out. We are starting with my dresser, and as you can see, I've got candles and clutter on top, and the inside needs organizing and folding since it's starting to do that thing where you can't open and close the drawer without the other ones coming with it. I am currently undergoing a huge cleaning journey where from January to March, I declutter every space in my house. Then come spring, my home will be ready for a good spring cleaning, dusting, and freshening up. I also enjoy posting cozy seasonal themed content as well as videos about Bath & Body Works since I was a part-time manager for about five years. If any of those topics spark your interest, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And now for a segment of Jose Teaches Melissa How to Perfectly Fold a Shirt. Grab one corner on your left side, on the top. Okay, and then go straight down, kind of right, no, 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 with your other hand. So grab, no, no, grab the left side here, grab it. And then with your other hand, kind of trace down in a straight line, and then you lift up and you kind of turn. Yeah. Then what do I do? <laughs> you grab it, grab here. Oh and, then you, oh, and then you have to grab. You fold it kind of evenly on the other side, and then you can fold it from here. Now that I've had an interesting crash course, I'll show you how. First, you spread it in front of you like this, and then you will grab with your left hand here and your right hand here. Fold it downwards like this and lift it up. Spread it back down in front of you and fold the sleeves in if it has any. Then from the top, you will fold it towards yourself, then you can roll it. This will help you save space in your drawers, and it makes it so the picture on the front of your shirt is visible so you can choose easily what to wear. Later, I will also have some tips on how to keep your clothes smelling nice, so you'll want to stay tuned for that. As a preliminary, I'm using Mrs. Meyer's Lavender Multipurpose Spray to clean out the drawers. This not only is good for removing the dust, but it will act as a first layer to keep your clothes smelling nice. Now I'm just filing in the athletic clothes. Now onto pajamas. I'm keeping all of my PJs in this drawer except for about two pairs that are Christmas themed. All of my PJs are in matching sets, so I'm just going to fold them and keep the top with the matching bottom as opposed to all tops together and all bottoms together. That way I don't have to go hunting for its pair. Next two drawers we have our bottoms like leggings and sweatpants and then t-shirts. It's been driving me nuts that I have the bottoms above the tops because tops should be on the top and bottoms should be on the bottom. So I'm going to fix that today once and for all. I just quickly am sorting from stuff I wear currently versus stuff I only wear in the summer and now just folding them all nicely to go back in. I've tried all of these on recently when I did this last summer, so I already know they fit.
Some of these bottoms I only wear in the summer too, so I'm separating those out and rolling up the rest to go back in. Thicker sweatpants go on the left, and thinner leggings go on the right. I also put the more colorful leggings in the back row, and the black and gray leggings in the front since I use those more. Now for socks. I'm sorting them by ones I wear versus ones I don't wear. In the don't wear pile, I'm also putting Christmas themed socks there, and I'll bring those back out next year. Now with the keep pile, I'm sorting them by fuzzy cozy socks, long socks, and ankle socks. Each category will get their own row so it's easy to choose from when I get dressed. Now that my dresser is all decluttered and organized inside the drawers, I want to show you some tips on how I like to keep my clothes smelling great. This is just a little mesh baggie that has some fresh cut lavender in it. I picked it this summer so the fragrance isn't as strong anymore, but I will refresh it once our plants start growing again. Another option is to wet a cotton round or a cotton ball with essential oils. I'm using this lavender essential oil that's mixed with coconut oil as a carrier. Just make sure you don't get the oil on your clothing. I recommend waiting for it to dry before putting it in, or you can also put it in the little mesh bag like this. Third option is to use a spray. Bath & Body Works has two kinds of sprays that I like to use interchangeably. Their room sprays are strongly scented, and one quick burst out of their aerosol can is enough to keep you covered. Bath & Body Works also makes Pillow Mist, which I tend to prefer when spraying clothing. The last pro tip for nice smelling clothes is to toss in a bar of soap. And that's how you keep the clothes in your drawers smelling bomb.com. Before I address the clutter on top of my dresser, I'm going to tackle the pile of clothes I decided to get rid of or put away to use in another season. I have a lot of empty space thanks to a previous decluttering video in my closet outside of my room where I keep all of my hanging clothes. If you want to see my extreme closet transformation from before, I've shared the link in a card up above. Get rid of Christmas storage, summer storage. Now that my dresser is all decluttered, cleaned off, and smelling like a field of lavender, it's time to finish it up by adding a little Valentine's Day display. Jose made this collage as a gift for me one year. Normally it's on my wall, but I'll add it to the display because we're so cute. Enjoy the transformation, but don't leave yet because we still have one more dresser to do right after this. Now onto Jose's dresser. Once again, we've got some irrelevant clutter on top mixing in with our security camera station. It's doing that thing again, can't open. And that's not even clothing. Let's get this fixed right away. All right, we are making piles by color. Jose rarely wears white socks and prefers black and gray, so we are going to get rid of the excess pairs, match up single socks, and fold them and put them away nicely.
Looks like someone has a jammy problem. Unlike my PJs, Jose wears his tops and bottoms mix and match and doesn't have exact matching pairs other than maybe one or two. Therefore, I'm going to organize these into a pile for tops and a pile for bottoms. By the way, I'm fronting the work here, but Jose is sitting right behind that camera helping me. We've been doing that thing again where he wants to organize something and I stop him by saying, don't clean that yet, it's content. Once organized by type, I'm holding up each item and Jose will say either keep, donate, or throw away. For pants, I'm having him choose between three categories, dress pants, everyday pants, and roughin' it pants. We're leaving some space in this drawer because he knows that there are some jeans in the shorts drawer that need to be moved up. Also he wants some space because he plans on buying new jeans pretty soon. Categories for the shorts are swimwear, workout shorts, and everyday wear. The same thing, I'll hold it up and he tells me if it's keep or get rid of. Lastly, there is some clutter in this bottom drawer here. Some of it's Jose's, but some of it's just random. We're going to remove all of it and keep it empty for now just because this room, which we call the side room, is going to be a very intense declutter video in the near future. I'm sure Jose will appreciate having the extra drawer to fill later once we've gone through all of the contents of this room. To finish off, we are using the black chamomile pillow mist in Jose's drawers to keep it smelling super nice. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it gave you some good decluttering and organizing motivation, don't forget to click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel because I have many more decluttering projects coming your way, as well as a cute cozy Valentine's Day video. Until next time, bye.